Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install and connect the Mi Home app and the Xiaomi Robot Vacuum. This will be applicable to the first and second generation Xiaomi Robot Vacuums. Now, before I start, I would like to tell you that you will need a router in your home for this um, to connect the app and the robot. The router will act as a bridge, wireless bridge to these two devices. First step would be scanning this QR code on page 10 of the RoboRack manual. Now this is the manual for the second generation. The first generation may appear in a different page but the steps are simple. Look for the QR code, scan it, and install the app. Next step would be installing the app. This is the window that you'll see after downloading the app. So we'll just install this. Before you install the app, make sure that the Wi-Fi light and on the robot is blinking like this. If it's not blinking, you may need to use a paper clip and press the reset button. Just push it down for around 3 to 5 seconds and it will reset. After downloading the app, just click on the agree and continue button and then click on the US server this is the recommended option I know that in the first video I created I, I said that we need to use the mainland China but now let's try if this works the US server works this is the the new app the second generation app and let's see what improvements it has you can see that everything here is in English. Now it's time to sign in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, just register. Just click on the sign in button on the top and click the sign up on the lower right of the sign in button. Then just follow the steps listed on the screen. After signing in, this is what you'll see, the main interface of the app. Let's try to add the robot vacuum. Let's just click the add device. The app will scan if there are any robots nearby. Make sure that the robot is plugged in. I'm having trouble connecting the app and the robot, so I'll be using this paper clip to reset. Just to demonstrate, I'll just press it for around 3 to 5 seconds. If the app cannot find the robot, just click the Add Manually button here. Again, this is the English version, and this is what you'll see. You will not see the Xiaomi robot vacuum on this list it's only this five options so let's switch over to the Chinese option the mainland China option let's just get, click to profile settings and locale let's click on mainland China and you will have to log in again uh, for the changes to take effect so I'll just log in. After signing in with the Chinese lo Chinese locale selected, this is what you'll see. Again, let's click on Add Device. And now you'll see that the app detected the robot. And let's click on this option. Now, you will just need to enter the username and password of your Wi-Fi network. After connecting to the Wi-Fi, just wait for the status to reach 100. If it times out, just don't worry. Just press try again and it will eventually connect. And now we're done connecting the robot and the app just select a room here and we're done <clears throat> now we have the robot connected to the app let's just click check it and press OK now we have access to the robot let's just click this option And you'll see that it's connecting to the robot and you'll, I'll just quickly show you the different features of this app. You'll, you'll see that it has, it, it's got instruction guides on how, to, how this robot works, how to use the mapping module, and how to schedule daily cleanups. This is a completely 
this is a new app and you'll see that this is the map I haven't started the robot yet oh and this is the previous cleaning test that I've done you'll see here the different options you have the go which is the default cleaning mode the dock the clean button the zone cleanup that, that I featured in the in the other video go check it out this is the size of the room the battery life and the time it took to clean during the last cleaning cycle now these are the different options in the app you have the vacuum settings and the timer but I think this is the schedule and let's see what else we have we have the voice pack now I use the default voice which is and you can use different languages here now I'm using this English you can use Chinese a Chinese voice a Chinese um, language if you're Chinese just click on general settings and see and these are the different options and the cleaning history this will show you the, the previous time it cleaned and the care option shows you the status of the filter side brush and the main brush how long it will last and when you need to replace it and it has a buy buy button where you can buy these spare parts and it also shows you the status of the drop sensors and I'll make a different video showing the different features in action again thanks again for watching this video if you like it please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video